Hi guys, this is Mustafa Erjan from Radar and in this video I will try to explain about our brand new integration which is Webhook Outgoing and uh, it's a little bit uh, complicated integration but if you are uh, familiar with Webhook, uh, Webhooks uh, I think you will figure out very easily uh, to, to use this integration first you need to set up of course and that is why uh, uh, I'm navigating to settings and switching to channels uh, and in this uh, area uh, I will choose the webhook outgoing integration under the connect uh, drop down and uh, this integration as you can see this integration is uh, still in beta uh, but it's in uh, public beta it means you can use it uh, you can test it and uh, if you have some feedbacks uh, or uh, some suggestions uh, please contact with us uh, and let us know uh, some people are seeing other uh, beta integration uh, but not public they are in uh, private beta which is which means we are still working on that the integrations and they are not ready to use publicly uh, when we finish uh, uh, that integrations we will announce separately right now we will only focus on webhook outgoing uh, when you choose this integration you need to uh, define some details uh, first uh, you need to choose type uh, right now we have three types uh, default format discard uh, discord format and uh, format for slack and uh, if you have some other suggestions as i mentioned please let us know and we can bring that uh, pre-ready formats in here uh, for example uh, right now i will choose discord and i will ch show the discord uh, uh, using case uh, I'm giving a name it can be anything uh, right now I'm just typing my discord bot and we need a webhook URL and if you are familiar with webhooks uh, logic uh, uh, I, I guess you already know that uh, to to get to find this webhook url uh, normally you need to create via that platform uh, that is why i'm switching to discord and i'm creating to create a test channel uh, i will give a name here the web uh, test webhook i'm creating this channel and when i create i will go to settings of this channel by clicking to edit channel and there's a integration tab and i switch here and as you can see there's a webhook uh, area in here and you can create several webhooks uh, in here right now uh, i'm create clicking to create webhook and it's create one and i'm naming it my discord bot and as you can see there's an option to copy the web url uh, i'm clicking this button and it's already uh, copied to clipboard uh, saving changes and closing these settings and going back to radar and pasting that url in here uh, then you can give a preview URL uh, for example you can give your channel uh, URL in here uh, but right now I'm skipping this and I'm adding this integration it's already added here but to be sure I will click the clear cache button here uh, then I will navigate the scheduler to create a test content to publish to Discord and in here I'm creating a new post uh, for channel I will choose the our new integration which we name it my Discord bot 
then uh, I will choose uh, media type. You can choose image, video, gallery, link, text or story. Uh, in this case, I will choose gallery and I will upload, for example, three images in here. It's uploading and it's already uploaded. Okay. And I'm typing my caption. And also, if you like, you can add some chain comments. Okay. And second one. Okay. And when I feel uh, ready, I will click the approve button to save it and approve for publishing. And after a while, like around one minute, it will be published. Yeah, it's already published. If I put the preview uh, link, there will be a button here. And uh, when I click that button, it will redirect that uh, preview link in the new tab. Um, you can use that and right now I'm going back to uh, Discord and as you can see my caption is came here and images and preview of images and my first comments my second comments it's work like this um, for example we can set up uh, again for slack this time and that is why I'm navigating the settings and switching to channels again and choosing webhook again. This time I'm choosing Slack and giving a name Slack bot. And as you guess, uh, we need a webhook URL from Slack site. That is why I'm switching to Slack and creating a new channel. giving a name, skipping this step and again I'm clicking the right button and opening the channel details, switching the integrations and clicking to add an app. Uh, in this section we will search for webhook and you will see incoming webhooks here. And uh, I already installed this app to our workspace. That is why I see like this. But if you don't see view button, you can install that by clicking the install button, choosing the uh, view and clicking the configuration. It's a little bit complicated than Discord. Okay, and uh, clicking to add to Slack. Okay, and choosing to our test channel, this one, and clicking to add incoming webhooks integration to this channel. As you can see, it's created a webhook URL. I'm copying this one and going back to radar and pasting this URL for webhook URL and again clicking to add button to add to radar uh, just to be sure clicking to clear cache and navigating to scheduler creating a new comments a new content this time I will choose our Slack integration. Then I will choose, for example, link type and pasting a URL here. And my caption again. Uh, if you like, comments, uh, chain comments again adding chain comments and when I feel ready ah sorry I didn't add the URL okay it's added 
here. When I feel ready, I will click the approve button and Radar take it to processing. Ah, it's already published here. Uh, I'm yeah, it's already published uh, to Slack and I'm going back to Slack and switching to that channel to see the content. Yes, as you can see, it's already published uh, with my caption, the preview of the link and the title of the link and visit button and my first comments. Yeah, basically uh, work uh, webhook uh, outgoing integration work like this. You can use this integration uh, right now just for scheduler. Uh, but it's not limited with Slack or Discord. You can integrate unlimited uh, platforms if they uh, support to incoming webhooks. Uh, for example, uh, this time I will connect another web outgoing integration and this time I will choose the default format, default type, uh, which is our own format and I will give a name Zapier and uh, I'm going to Zapier, okay, and creating a new Zap in here to create a webhook uh, URL, choosing the custom app for trigger. Okay, I guess my internet is a little bit slow or because of screencast, recording screencast. Uh, for trigger, we will search for webhook. and we will choose webhooks by Zapier. It will create a uh, and trigger events catch hook. We will choose catch hook, clicking to continue. Okay, it's already created a webhook URL. I'm copying this one and skipping the rest. Continue, clicking to continue. Okay, uh, right now I'm switch back to oops, Radar and pasting that Zapier uh, webhook URL and clicking to add to install this integration. It's already added. Just to be sure I'm clicking to clear cache and navigating the scheduler. Right now I will create a test contents this time I will choose Zapier and I will choose image media type. I will upload an image. Okay, I'm typing my caption. Okay, and I approve this content to publish. We will wait a little bit. Ah, it's already published. Okay, and right now I'm switching back to Zapier again and clicking to test trigger to catch the that hook. Uh, as you can see, uh, the Zapier already catch the that hook request, and you can see the details and you can find the uh, details of this format in our knowledge base. Uh, right now everything is uh, seems like okay and that is why I clicking to continue. Uh, we set up the trigger and if you are familiar with Zapier or Publi, uh, after this point you can choose uh, nearly unlimited option to uh, to for for action and for example I will search for Pinterest. And I want to make uh, this uh, Zap uh, publish a content when the trigger tr uh, trigger events uh, triggered. Uh, I choose Pinterest and create a pin for action events. Clicking to continue. 
Uh, I already set up our test uh, Pinterest account here. That is why I'm choosing that one. If you need any help uh, for this area, you can. You, uh, I think you can uh, take benefits of Zapier uh, tutorials. Uh, you can search on YouTube for that. Clicking to continue. And I'm choosing our test board, my board. For image, we will choose image URL from our webhook. And for the link, we don't have link yet, but I'm choosing the media link URL here from the webhook. For title, I'm choosing title. And for description, I'm choosing caption my caption uh, okay everything looks okay and i'm clicking to continue zapier will ask to test it and clicking to test and continue waiting a little bit okay it's already tested and it's look like it's published let's uh, let me check that switching to pinterest as you can see my board is empty and i'm refreshing it yeah it's already published i'm going back to zapier to make this zap online as you can imagine uh, this is only one time setup after uh, after setting up this setup uh, you don't have to do that every time uh, for example i will switch back to radar and i will create another content i will choose zapier and choosing image type uploading the a sample image test image and writing my caption my caption for Pinterest via Zapier and approving my contents we will wait a little bit ah it's already uh, sent it to Zapier uh, I guess Zapier needs a little bit time to publish to Pinterest let's refresh pinterest ah it's already published here and as you can see our image came here and our caption came here uh, it means for example with zapier you can publish uh, uh, contents uh, from radar to nearly unlimited platform uh, you can you use zapier or other alternatives like publi yeah that's all uh, that's all about uh, outgoing webhook, uh, webhooks uh, but as i mentioned uh, it's still in beta public beta and uh, if you have any suggestions or if you have any feedbacks please please let us know and we really want to put this feature uh, further uh, and that is why we need your feedback um, that's all thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope uh, you can take benefits of this integration bye bye